Let us now take up question number 25, which had appeared in set A of the prelims 2023. The question here is consider the following markets government bond market, call money market, treasury bill market, and the stock market. How many of the above are included in the capital market? Now, before discussing the answer to this particular question, let us first find out as to why this question was asked. If you look at this particular topic, this particular topic is part of your basics of economy. So, if a particular student knew an idea of what is financial market, what is capital market, what is money market, and what instruments are included in the capital market as well as money market, one would have easily got the right answer to this particular question. So, let's discuss the answer to this particular question. So in any economy, you will come across the financial market. Financial market basically means that there are certain entities who are in need of money. These entities who are in need of money, they can raise money or they can borrow money from other entities who might be having surplus amount of money. So as you can see, within the financial market, you have two segments. That is the capital market and the money market. Capital market is that segment of financial market which is used for raising of long term capital. And when I say long term capital, it means we are raising money for a period greater than one year. On the other hand, money market is that segment of capital market where the capital is raised for a period less than one year. So, as you can see, within the capital market, we have different instruments like you have shares, you have corporate bonds, as well as the government bonds. Whereas in the money market, you have different instruments like you have commercial paper. Now, one fundamental difference between the corporate bond and commercial paper is in terms of maturity period. The maturity period of a corporate bond is usually more than one year. On the other hand, the maturity period of commercial paper is usually less than one year. So, a corporate entity can issue either a corporate bond to raise long term capital or it can issue a commercial paper to raise short term capital. Similar to that, we have call notice or term money, which is used for interbank borrowing and lending. Then we have tri-party repos and then we have treasury bills as well as cash management bills which are issued by government of India. So, as you can see, whenever the government wants to borrow money, the government might borrow both long-term loans or short-term loans. To raise long-term loans, the government of India issues what is called as dated securities. On the other hand, the state government issue what is called as state development loans and in general, we call them as the government bonds. On the other hand, if the government wants to raise short term capital, the government will issue the treasury bills as well as cash management bills and these instruments can be issued only by government of India and they cannot be issued by the state government. So, keeping this information in mind, let us solve the question which is asked in this year prelims examination. So, here the question requires you to identify as to which all are part of capital market. So, we have discussed that the government bond market is part of capital market. Call money and treasury bill market, they are actually part of your money market. On the other hand, the stock market is actually a place where there is a trading of the capital market instruments. So, even this option is correct. So, the right answer to this particular question is only 2. So, as far as this question is concerned, if a particular student had a fundamental idea about what is capital market, such a student would have easily got the right answer to this particular question.